for our perfectly portable small pack bio -Eno batteries like this. This is a three, three amp hour? Yeah. This is a three amp hour battery. A small charger like the one that bio -Eno supplies is fantastic. This is a two amp hour charger. So for simple math, I normally, I normally don't math on camera, but for simple math, a three amp hour battery at a two amp hour rate of charge is gonna be one and a half hours, right? Great, now you take a big old battery like this one over here from Power Queen, this 100 amp hour battery at two amp hours. Again, easy math on camera, 50 hours time to charge that thing is a little insane. So we've gotta get something bigger and that is what this is, 40 amp rate of charge. We gotta get this thing open, let's do it. Before we charge anything, we have to figure out what is actually in the box. What do we need? What does it come with? Do we actually need anything at all in order to make this work? Oh, this is a big boy. We've got a product manual. Power Queen did a pretty good job on their batteries product manual. And on the charger side of things, not too bad either. You connect it to the wall outlet, you charge it up, and you watch it charge, and that's kind of how it works. Awesome. Dun, da, da, da. We have a regular PC style power cable. And we have a big old Anderson plug on one side that plugs into the charger. And buried in the box, we have another big old Anderson plug and a couple of these kind of connectors on it. And this is some, some pretty beefy stuff here. I like this. But the colors are not our US standard. So we got to figure that out real quick. Looking good. Let's get her plugged in. So some of these plugs are really straightforward. This, your typical PC power cord, goes into your typical PC power cord hole. Ta-da! All right, so some interesting things here is output 14.6 volts, 40 amp, and the DC output wire brown is positive, blue is negative. It's nice that it's written right there, so we don't need to worry about it in keeping our manuals around. The LED full on green is waiting mode. Charging mode is flashing blue. Fully charged is full on green. Charging error mode is flashing red. So let's go get the blue wire to the negative and the brown wire to the positive on the battery. All right, so they gave us the wiring connector to plug the charger into the battery with some terminals on it. And brown wire goes to positive and blue wire goes to negative. Ta-da! All right, with this thing turned off and unplugged from the wall, you wanna connect your power source together and with the Anderson plugs, that only works one way, and you'll see that brown goes through to brown and blue goes through. Now, you can plug into your wall socket. And you can turn it on. And just like that, she's charging. All we gotta do is wait for the light to turn green to tell us that it is done. Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. For us in our ham world, that is kind of a weird power connector. It's not weird in the real world, it's just weird in the ham world. And what you can do is I will leave some links in the description down below where you can find some connectors to make yourself an adapter cable to get over to regular power poles. And then when you have your battery with your power pole connectors on it, you don't need to do any crazy rewiring in order to charge the thing up with this big old charger. They do make 45 amp wires and power pole connectors that will work in our ham world. And they will mate up with the typical Anderson power poles that you use because they are good for 15, 30, and 45. Two hours and change to charge a 100 amp hour battery? Not bad in my book. There will be links in the description down below where you can get this battery charger. There is a video right up here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.